Hello everyone and welcome to Art Smart. Today I would like to give a review of Artist Loft Supplies. Artist Loft is a company that you will find at a lot of your local craft stores, uh, Michaels, uh, um, yeah, places like that. Anyway, uh, you will find these uh, supplies out there and you can actually get large kits like this where it has a little section for your artwork. You have all kinds of different pencils of different sizes. Uh, there's some additional nice graphite pencils here. You also get uh, lots of uh, blending materials like this. They also give you some uh, gentle instructions and in some uh, paint, uh, painting supplies, I'm sorry, drawing supplies uh, in their kits here. Now, is this worth the money? It is typically, from what I've found, on the low end in the 30 some dollar range, usually when they're trying to clear out old stock and it can go up from there to well over $50 for a particular kit like this. So the question is, is it worth spending your money on something like this? The answer for me would be only if you are a very serious artist who is going to utilize each and every pencil that you're going to find inside of a uh, box like this. It is very nice, it is well constructed, and you can uh, definitely bang this thing around quite a bit, but the problem is, for the most part, it's not worth it to somebody that is getting started with art. Why? Because most people when they're getting started are st still learning how to sketch from life. And when you have that kind of, of goal, a lot of these pencils are just not going to be useful to you. Uh, you're going to probably start with some of the lighter pencils and it's only going to be later on that you really get to a lot of these darker shades. Uh, when it comes to blending materials, most people are probably going to just need one or two blending uh, sticks for them to utilize because if you have tons and tons as you have inside of here, most of them are just going to go wasted or you're just going to replace some other sort of blending uh, stick that you have lost. Uh, a lot of the paper that they give here is relatively low grade and you're probably going to want to upgrade. Plus, most people when they get started with art need to draw big and so you are probably better suited getting yourself a big old sketchbook like this which is bigger than they can fit in one of these kits. Most people need to draw big in the beginning to learn how to do proportion, uh, shading, lighting, things like that. And so smaller sketchbooks really don't do you much good at all. Uh, also, uh, a lot of the materials that they have here, I mean, it, it's perfectly fine if you understand art, but they kind of talk over the head, I think, of most beginners. And so this is probably not going to be terribly helpful to most people. So in the end, this is a nice gift to give to somebody, but most, for the most part, uh, the beginning artist is not going to use much of this, and it's probably going to sit mostly unused like this. Uh, a friend of mine has this kit and I borrowed it for this video. Now, what do you need if you're going to get started? Like I said, some larger paper like this, a, uh, a relatively nice grade of paper, and you can ask the people at Michael's which are nicer paper for different styles of drawing. They'll be happy to show you. And then you just need some basic materials. Have a basic pencil for if you're just drawing uh, as you're walking around sketching. It doesn't even have to be a very uh, good pencil, just something to get started with. Uh, you can also upgrade, though, to a couple of nicer graphite pencils, and I have some here, and you can move yourself up slowly by having a little bit more depth in uh, your range of darkness on your pencils. But most people are only going to need a few to get started. Of course, you need to be able to blend, so having a couple of these sitting around is going to be helpful to you. Of course, you want to have an eraser, and I also like to have something like pen and marker, because sometimes I like to use them to draw pretty quickly or to do something that which is a etching style, uh, style drawing. So at the end of the day, you only need like five or six pencils to get started, and most people can afford that. So instead of spending tons of money on a box like this, which is probably not going to get used, go ahead and spend 20 bucks to get yourself what you actually are going to use and then maybe consider spending more money on stuff like this later if you are going to stick around in the arts. Hopefully this was helpful to you and hopefully it's made you a little bit more art smart. Bye-bye everybody.